Sanofi uh, has come out with the Novavax, and that came out for emergency use authorization this week, uh, actually last week. So Friday night, I put in an order for 300 doses, which is our max that we could get for Mason County at this point. It's going to, instead of coming to public health, so public health is supposed to, to run the distribution of this vaccine for the near term. So we're getting 300 doses in. I sent those 300 doses to uh, Mason General. We're gonna send some out of Kitsap to uh, Belfair, uh, especially around uh, PCHS. They haven't decided yet whether they're going to, to run with another vaccine. The nice thing about this vaccine is it's different than the others in that this is not an mRNA vaccine. This is more, think of the old style vaccine, uh, measles, smallpox, that sort of a vaccine. It's, it's made in a little more complicated way, but I think it's a little more durable way where the RNA is combined with DNA. The DNA is put into a host cell. The host cell grows the spike proteins, the spike proteins are harvested and used in the injectable. And then they use a, a, a plant extract to irritate the, the immune system. And that increases the uptake of the spike protein. So uh, I think this is kind of layman's terms. Dr. Gardner's laugh because we've talked about this. Um, I think this is gonna be a more durable vaccine and it doesn't have the, the super cold requirements to maintain this vaccine. So I think it's gonna be uh, more usable. And I think it's a vaccine that people have been waiting to come out, something that they trust how this is done because it's done in the way that vaccines have been done for decades. So uh, we hope to see some uptick on those people who were, who were definitely uh, vaccine hesitant. We would like to see that the emergency use authorize this as a booster. So that's not authorized yet, but uh, we, we see that coming pretty soon or they can get a boost. This is still a two dose vaccine, uh, three weeks apart. And I looked at, I took a training yesterday on this particular vaccine, how it's made and the uh, efficacy and side effects uh, and effectiveness over time. And what they found on their, their test is that the mRNAs tend to, to jump up very high, very fast. And then as time goes by, they, they start dropping off. What we're seeing with this particular one is it doesn't jump up for about two or three weeks, then it comes up and then it stays flat. The efficacy stays flat, which is, um, it was nice to see. It's not dropping down in the same kind of time period. It's still new, but it's being used all over the world. So uh, we expect to have some good results with uh, Novavax.